G'day. Tidy here from Off Tap Brewing. This is a tip in five minutes and under. How not to make bottle bombs. Part one. Because this is going to be a couple of tips, but in individual videos. First tip on how not to make bottle bombs. When reading your tin, when reading your kit, with this is a flavoured um, extract kit, and this is a kilo. So this is what I call kit and kilo. How not to make a bottle bomb. Simple. When reading the instructions, and it says on here, adding 5 grams of sugar to a 750ml bottle will add 0.5% of alcohol to your beer, do not think to yourself, shit, if I add 2 teaspoons, I'm going to get a whole percent. Yes, you will. This is true. Factual, factual true. You will get extra alcohol. You will also create a bottle bomb. If you if you add when when you add sugar to your bottle, you're only adding enough to put the bubbles in the beer. In the beer, that's all you're doing. It's all you want to do. You want to read the instructions. If you're getting um, if you're if you're getting greedy and you want higher percentage beer. Add more to your fermenter. It's that simple. Do not add more to your bottles. Your bottles will explode. Exploding bottles is very messy. Extremely messy. Glass, if you've got children, glass running around. Glass running around. Children running around getting glass in their feet. Um, bottles exploding in your hands. All that sort of stuff can be very dangerous. Always stick to the instructions. The recommended instructions for bottling. Extra alcohol. Add it to your fermenter, you as much as you want. Um, and that's not going to explode on you, unless you've got a tightly sealed glass fermenter. I don't know why you do that, but um, yeah, extra alcohol, add it to your fermenter, not your bottles. No bottle bombs. Alright, remember, beer makes you smarter.